The next line item on our profit and loss statement is interest expense. Now interest expense is applied on the borrowing. The percentage rate of interest will be applied on the amount borrowed. But the problem is, at this moment, I don't know how much we are going to borrow because that is dependent on the investment that is needed and the investment that is needed is dependent on the plant and machinery, intangible assets, both of them we have worked out but other than that there will be the money that will be spent into inventory and some other things like that. So unless we find out the money that will be stuck in inventory and other working capital aspects, we don't know how much money we need to start the business and how much money we need in each year, in each subsequent year. So for this moment, we cannot calculate the interest expense. We will have to stop here. We will have to first find out the working capital. We already have the property, plant equipment and intangible assets. So once we have working capital as well, we will be able to find out our total investment and then on the basis of that we will be able to find our debt and on the basis of that we will be able to find our interest expense. So I will stop here and rather than trying to calculate interest expense, I'm going to calculate total investment and for that first I'm going to calculate working capital and let us start doing that from the next lecture.